What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on the Proving Grounds. If you haven't guessed by the intro clips, in a Corvette and a Mustang that are two of my comp cars that I'm building for the Drift Invitational. So I'm bringing this video because we're just testing these two drift cars out. They are at about 800 and some horse, 821 horsepower at full power, but we're running at about 80 percent. So they are on some uh, Evil Rabbit comp tires, and. Nate is up there just ripping that Corvette. So I want to know what cars do you guys think you guys would like to see in the comp set? I want to do about five to six cars I'm using for drift invitationals and other invitational drift events in the future. And we have these two here. Ooh, a little bit of a wall tap. But we're going to put more cars in. So I want to know what cars would you guys like to see in there i'm trying to stick to newer age cars hence why the newer mustang the newer corvette and stuff like that so but whatever cars you guys would like to see let me know down in the comments make sure you follow me on instagram and twitter all of you found in the description box below that's enough talking time to get doors doors <laughs> right there Cars are just so good though. Now from somebody going from a 500 horsepower car to 800 horsepower comp style car, you have not taken long to adapt to it at all, have you? Uh, no, it's actually seems very fluid. Um, the 500 horsepower cars were easy Ooh. as, and just putting the same Steering aesthetics and everything else into it, just increasing the power, just lays down a lot more smoke and a lot more angle just as easily. Now you do have to use a little bit more clutch kick when you're at lower speeds behind somebody or coming in lower speed turns because of the grippier comp style tire, but it's nothing that's not really unmanageable that way. <laughs> nothing that's really unmanageable to say the least. I mean, we're just rocking this thing in third gear. Like I said, we are at 80%. I'm gonna bump it up to 100 real quick. It is a little bit of a, like you said, having a clutch kick. It is a little bit of a learning difference doing that, but it's honestly not bad. Oh, hello. Pinch Saved walls. you. Do you have a little dial that you can bump it up to 100%? Okay. Kick it up to 100 and see what the change is. Oh my god. <laughs> were you trying to do it while you were drifting? Oh, of course. Why well, try to do it in the straightaway? There's no fun in that. Great shredding tires. Actually, we're gonna hit the wall. I thought I was going to hit all three of them. Wow, that line though. Oh my god. All right, I guess I'm going to take a pass. There we go. Are you lost in the smoke? Back. I see that. Not too far. Thought I was gonna have to go into fourth, but nope. Oh my wall! This angle this Mustang can throw. It is ridiculous. That thing has a ton of steering. I think it's got like 80% steering lock or 80 degrees. It just is, it's a smoke show. I couldn't tell. <laughs> oh my god. I lost it. I saw that. I'm just taking a pass on that. That's cool. Oh, sorry. A little, bit too, a little bit too much in the paint there. So, only giving him about, I would say, 15 minutes worth of practice in this car before we started this. 
you're not doing too bad. So it, it's me. So people that are going to be getting these cars for Drift Invitational, like a little bit before the actual comp, and I'll have a chance to test, you know, see which car they want to run, aren't going to have that hard of a time, I guess, adapting to the cars. Because if you've driven my 14 or my 13 that I put out in public, they are very similar. So you just have a little bit more power and a little bit more grip to contend with, but when it comes to how the car reacts and slide, how it transitions, it's all very similar. So it's not a huge learn curve if you've driven my 14 before. So I stalled it there. And the tracks that will likely be ran and invitational as well uh, be good for these guys. Oh yeah. Been doing a lot of testing on different tracks and where I want to run it. If I want to run some high speed tracks or lower speed, I'm looking for tracks that are going to be friendly for pros and amateur drifters because this invitational is really for people that aren't in the VDC or Bushido series or you know any of the Assetto Corsa drifting series mainstreams, giving a place for people to learn how to drift and actually have a chance to compete and give them a, a, basically a playground and a series that they can try and learn the fundamentals of competition drifting in a set of Corsa, how it's run, and stuff of that nature, which, you know, I know a lot of people are like, I want to do Bushido, but there's so many people that want to compete in Bushido that it's hard to get registered. In BDC, you have to have your license, and that's just a much higher caliber of drivers. So a fun series, kind of an invitational series that I can run to get people into tandem drifting competition that aren't I would say not up to VDC standards, but maybe they are, but don't have the ability to get into VDC. So, so that's kind of what the game plan is. Oh, why did I just stall? I hit the wrong pedal. So we're just having a blast here, like I said in the beginning of the video. Let me know down in the comments what cars you think you would like to see in this comp set of cars. You're seeing two of them here today. Definitely going to have probably about five or six different cars. So, and all of them will be same power band, same drivetrain band, and everything like that. So, the cars will be very comparable to each other. So, one is not going to be necessarily better than the other. They're just going to be slightly different handling based on wheel bases and, you know, wheel um, track width and stuff like that. So, each car has their own little quirk but you'll find a car which you'll find most comfortable in. That's why I'm basing a lot of different chassis, but basically the mainstream chassis, hence why we have a Mustang and Corvette. Might be an R35 and stuff like that, but I want to get your guys' opinion on what cars you think I should throw in here. I mean, get out there, get wild. Let me know what you guys really want to see. Ferrari, Audis, like whatever. Just let me know, and I'm uh, not going to take anybody's suggestion and laugh at it because everybody's suggestion is actually sweet i mean i'm building a drift jeep wrangler come on now anything formula can happen one, huh formula one cars let's go f1 car <laughs> oh god uh, could you imagine building an f open wheel f1 drift car you could get a wheel no joke into a door i mean if you guys want to see a f1 drift car build let me know down below and Maybe I'll do an F1 drift car build. That would be crazy. So, you want to switch up tracks? Maybe to... Oh! Uh, 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 except you're in a Mustang, you, uh, you need to go hop a curb real quick.